this is the negro ninja and this is going to be part two to the last video to where i was basically saying that these hoes try to get you to pull your pants down and they try to get you to expose yourself to everybody that wants you to pull your pants down all right and in that last story involving great teacher onizuka one can say well she was only doing that because of those guys just like how you would say that oh she's only doing this because of the people she hang around but the reality is this bitch has a choice now you got to realize that back in the garden of eden okay it was only the serpent and it was only eve when nobody in this bitch's ear telling her to do some stupid shit she decided to do that shit on her own now this is also why god did not cut her any slack okay bitch you made a choice to defy adam okay and one could also say, oh, man, the serpent just had game. But once again, game doesn't work. Okay, as these hoes are flat out said in that Reddit video that I showed y'all. Talking about some niggas think they got game, but the reality is she was going to do it anyway. The reality is she wanted, Eve wanted to defy Adam anyway. It's just that simple. Okay, people just get these hoes an outlet to do so on. You know, hoes just need an excuse. All right. Now, once again, if a chick chooses to do bad, bad was in her the whole time. This is why a bitch will just flip on you like that. Seem like everything is cool and she just flip on you. No telegraph, just flip. All right. There is something in the hole that makes a hole defy. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to play another video. Okay. That pretty much proves this point right here. Now, if, if the shoe was on the other foot, it'd be completely different. But let's just play it. I was running a wire. We were looking to arrest a guy who beat a two-year-old so bad she had broken femurs. We wired up mom and had her go to the boyfriend's house and try and get him to confess. Mom started out great. Led the boyfriend along and started to ducking blow him. He then ducked her. The man who beat her daughter so bad she was life lighted. She ducked him on wire. I was punching my dashboard and wishing I could arrest her as well. It was awful. This is crazy. Like I said, there have been stories to where I'm like, this chick leading me on, she's trying to prank a nigga. Okay, and, I'm, and I've always thought, I'm like, if I was an ain't shit nigga, she just would have went on through with it. She would have just lost herself. And forgot why she was there. And that's essentially what this Reddit story just proved. Okay. Now, this was the similar situation to the great Tichi Onizuka thing. Where there was a man and a bitch. And there was like five motherfuckers behind this bitch watching everything going on. She was supposed to get him to confess that he was the one that did the shit. Okay. He was the one that beat the daughter so bad that her femurs broke. Okay. So instead of getting him to confess, she gets him to pull his pants down. Okay, and instead of her saying, hey guys, come here and look, she says, wait, and she sucks his dick. She didn't give him a chance to talk. You think he gonna talk after he got his dick sucked? You think he gonna talk and pillow talk? Bitch, I'm going to sleep. She didn't give him the opportunity to do so. Now, once again, if the shoe was on a dude that was accused of doing these things, and it turns out that he was righteous, she would have planted some shit on him. She would have put crack on him and everything. She started out great, and then she proceeded to fucking blow him. That's some stupid shit. These bitches simply cannot control themselves around a dude that shares the same evil energy. That's what this is all about. Energy is powerful to these hoes. Okay, once again, she can have attraction. You can be hot. Okay, she can find you sexy, but none of that shit matters. Even the hoe tells you that. It's not about the looks. It's about what's on the inside. I told y'all this shit for years. Okay. All right, a while back, I made a video called June and the Devil. You know, June Kazuma from Tekken. Fucking Kazuya Mishima, who was clearly Satan. Okay, he has a demon in him, but he can pretty much turn into the demon, so he's the devil. Okay. Now, she was tasked to keep an eye on him and investigate him. I think even stop him. But she found herself drawn to him. 
And before she know it, she's sucking his dick and she had his baby. Okay, now once again, June looks like a very respectable woman. A woman that you may even aspire to acquire as a man. Only for her to go with a motherfucker that is literally the devil. And have a damn baby by him. And like she said in the game, she, she, she just found herself drawing. She had no control over him. She just fucked him. That's what happened in this situation right here. Okay, in this situation where this bitch just fucked the dude who the FBI told to get close to him. She, this pretty much just proves to you that in her mind, she's telling herself that he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. And when a chick does something to humiliate a dude that is not bad, she's telling herself that you're a piece of shit. You're the worst person, stupid motherfucker. You know, just listen to all the nice guy posts. Just listen to any woman talk about a nice guy and tell me you're not going to see that type of hatred, whether they're going to be blatant with it or not. That's why I'm telling you, you know, when you, when you put together, when you're handsome and all this type of stuff, the easier it is for a whore to resist you. When you're a piece of shit, the, the, the more difficult it is for her to resist you. She just fall right into you then. You fall right into her. She pulls you into her. Okay, you can't walk past this bitch. You just end up and say, how the fuck that happened? Well, shit, I might as well just stay. These hoes pussies, it's like a black hole to eight shit niggas. All right, these hoes are a double agent. Okay, now let's go back to the um a hoe trying to get you to pull your pants down trying to get people to catch you with your pants down all the false rape accusations that's a common way niggas get caught with their pants down as soon as a nigga talk to a bitch you can, oh harassment caught with your pants down okay okay it's damn near like they're trying to penalize you as a decent man for wanting a chick or something okay like they, you know, that's a spiritual attack. It's almost like they're just trying to tell you that you wanted a woman is a bad thing, and they they low key want you to um go to the Skittles Kingdom by will. They're trying to convince you to join the Skittles Kingdom. All right, I had this pause for a minute. All right, but anyway, this bitch, okay, forgot why she was doing what she was doing. She was an undercover agent to get a dude that clearly did something wicked to her own fucking daughter. Okay, and she was just around him and she ended up fucking him. They just, you know, you couldn't keep them apart from each other. Okay, but a whole have gotten rid of me for less shit than that. Okay, give her a nice compliment that just touches her soul. She'll just cut you off or whatever. Because who the fuck are you to make her feel this type of way? Okay, compliment her friends. You will never see her again. Who the fuck? He doesn't like me anymore. You should have stopped talking to you. She just look for a little stupid shit to cut a dude off over. <laughs> but she will never leave you if you do that. You have to pry that bitch away with a crowbar. Okay, you have to put some electric tape on this nigga. What I mean, my bad. Um. You would have to put some type of electric device that'll shock this bitch on this nigga. If she, you know, and that still won't stop her. All right, and this whole scenario is proof right here that if anybody tries to make fun of a dude for the way a chick does him, you, you know, you, you're on the same level as that nigga that she was sent to spy on. Since when does people praise a retard for making retarded actions? Okay, that's the problem with the world right now. All right, and that Reddit story also proves to you that there is no excuses. If a hoe is making an excuse, the bitch is full of shit. Okay, nothing will keep a real woman apart from you. Okay, if, if like I say, even distance, it don't matter if you here and she's two states over. Okay, it doesn't matter if her parents say they don't like you. It, you know, nobody's going to keep a bitch from getting what she wants or doing what, what the fuck she wants. And I was trying to get these hoes to cop out when they constantly tell you they make a decision to not do the things you ask. All right, so I'm going to end it with this. Okay, if a chick, and, and like I said, this only applies to real dudes watching. I'm not talking about you narcissists that constantly try to copy me and think you're on the same level when you're really inferior. 
Okay, I'm talking about cool people that is actually legit when they watch these videos. If a chick is responding negative to your best actions, that's the motherfucker that she's going to respond positive to. It's just, you know, it's just that simple. And this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for, to, for today, Negro.